season as a whole it's been a it's been a tough season you, you start a season with all the aspirations of wanting to finish in a champ uh, championship place you want to try and win the league you uh, you know all those types of things but the reality is is in step six it's a tough game it's a tough league there's some money in the league which means that there's some very good players playing at the standard so for us as a committee trying to find those players and bring those players into the team and into the club has been a real challenge because we can't those players. So where it sits is that we've had some very good volunteers throughout the season, four, four good managers who have come and gone unfortunately, yeah. done their best with limited resources, brought in some wonderful players of which from each group of managers, from each group of managers, uh, management teams we've retained some of the players and now we're at the end of the season, a couple of games to go and we've got a nice cohort of players from uh, you know, as far north as Manchester and Ormskirk and Southport, across to Stafford, uh, down to uh, Telford and Shrewsbury Way. So, and a real great cohort of reserves from our local area that have now integrated into the side. So, do you think that's been the most important thing this season is to to have a good crop of of players that are from and around the area? It's always been. It's the club's uh, um, fundamental objective is to give young lads, young local lads, the opportunity to play football at the highest possible level and we've made it our USP to attract lads from the ages of about 16 up to 23 who struggle to get through um, into an academy maybe for financial reasons or because um, they, they struggle to get in because there's so few places but are more than good enough to be playing a decent standard of football and that's what we've been focusing on and we've got a great young team uh, who were just a couple of years ago I, I looked after half of that team uh, under eight year olds and you know and they had them for a few years and then they've gone on to different uh, local youth systems and they're coming back now so well, now we've got you know, quite a large cohort of those lads are all 18, 19 and 20 ready to play adult football and uh, last weekend was fantastic seeing seven or eight reserve lads playing in the Isle of Man. So uh, as, as you've mentioned the fact that you've been with both of them since they were under eight, how, how do you feel seeing the way some of them have progressed now? Into... Uh, well, I mean, I, there's, I could reel off names, you know, um, the, there's, there's the lads there. If we have a quick look over there now and you see how unified that group of lads are. The greatest thing about having a team of lads who've grown up together is they all know each other, they all respect each other and they all work hard for each other. There's a real unity now, so proud as punch to see these lads who, you know, all intents and purposes could have gone off and done their own thing in any other way, are all come back together again as friends all these years later and enjoying football. And we all love football. So. There's a last thing for me, thoughts on today's game, Thought, thoughts on the uh, opponents? You know, at the end of a tough season, it's hard to imagine that we wouldn't have uh, won a game all season. Um, but, you know, today there's a possibility, 
here, I think. We've got a young bunch of lads who've got something to prove. They've had a baptism of fire the last couple of games against the two of the best teams in the league. And today, I think that they've got every chance to go out there and get that that win that we all love to see. So, good luck to them. Thank you. Yeah, this season's been been tough. Obviously, you know, um, fifth fifth manager of the season now, and it's just like we've got so many players, and we've had to draft in a lot of reserves. Obviously, the manager walked out a couple of weeks ago, and for, for his own reasons. To be honest, I don't really care. Um, the football club is the priority, always will be, and, and we we have to we have to perform better next season. And we've been the laughing stock this year, and, and rightly so. And um, we deserve some of the criticism, but we've had a lot of a lot of heavy support as well. So do, you, so do you think the fact that the other manager walked out, do you think oh, that's galvanised the club Definitely. even more since Definitely. then? Definitely, because of the young players have come in um, and they've been outstanding. So. Yeah. It's very good, all right? Use it. But the warm-up, lads, I'm very disappointed in it. Very disappointed. Okay? No talking. Only, well, I heard one and it's Paolo. Okay? And he just stood on the side. So this little in the mix here, not good. <coughs> All right, you've got a show now, 10 minutes, and that didn't make a difference. Your first 10 minutes. Okay, right, as soon as you're dressed, sit down. If you need a piss, go now. The ball to travel, there we go. Okay, and it's up to one and two to dictate that. Okay, you tell him to fuck off. Off you go. I've covered your ass. Little things like that. Midfield two, if you've got a striker that's dropping in. You've got three there. One of you could probably go in and sit just in front to stop that happening and stay right behind you. Okay? Because I guarantee they might do what Iron Man did last week. They might swap it round. And the number eight might run in behind you and the number ten might be there. Boys, I need you looking this way. Okay? Right. Set plays. Second half, just a question. Why did we take the two off the posts last week? Two free headers. Both in the corner, and nobody on the post. First half, we had two on the post, and we defended every corner. Very well, actually. Okay, let's get two back on the post. All right. Uh, as for set pieces, okay, Dan Harrington, free kicks, please, mate. And Kai, between the two of you. Okay, long ones, I'm happy for anybody, to be honest with you, I don't care. Ideally, maybe even Finn. Okay, as for corners, I want Rob Weir on there. Rob Weir on there. Good delivery. Okay? Good delivery. As for defending corners, it should be 10 in the box, like we've already discussed. And they have to keep that. We've conceded three from a corner last week. Could have been four or five. All right? Because we haven't defended our box properly. You haven't picked up men quickly. Yes, one thing. Yes, corners. Logan, I want you back. I don't want you to leave Rob up front. Okay? I want you back in. Because you're, what, six foot? Three, whatever, and Rob's tiny. So I'm Rob staying up and you come back to the corners. Yeah, okay. Full backs like to push up for them. Okay, but don't get sucked into that. Okay, don't get to go, oh, I'm going, because you might leave something there. Okay, just stay in your block, nice and tidy, tidy everything up. Okay, and ultimately, lads, the communication's got to be there. All right, first half last week was, I don't think we could have asked much more in terms of effort. You have to match that now in front of the 15 that are in, okay? You turn up to the Iron Man, the minute you're on the bus, can't fault you, okay? It has to be the minute you get out there now, all right? There's no point turning up for one game, you've still got two left. And if we don't turn up with the right attitude, that's where you get dipped, okay? I don't want another 9-0 today, all right? Liam, you can say Yes, Cody. Watching, watching the Iron Boys. Man game at home. There, was, there wasn't enough. When, when we did have the ball and Rob had the ball going towards them, it was just Rob and Logan. It was, that was it. You need to. We're not going to score if we don't have pace up the pitch, are we? So you need to talk to each other as soon as we get that ball and you know who midfield's going with you and then try and score goals. Look, I know every game it doesn't look like we're scoring goals, but we're fucking not. 
but boys, we need to we need to get up there and try and score and commit to score goals because we're not going to compete. Oh, wait, don't be scared. Don't be scared to commit and then go score a goal because at the end of the day, you've got a back four there ready, and if they're sturdy enough, they'll get the ball back up. But boys, if we get that ball, Rob picks it up, Logan picks it up, or there's a Tom on the right. If Tom picks it up, we need a midfielder with him. We need someone with him to go forward with because the Ireland man last week there was no one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Right. When we do have the ball, there's nothing going on. Okay, Dan Harrington, yeah. that's you. You're that late running to the bottom. Yeah. Okay? But how quick is our recovery after that? So, by all means, he's right in what he's saying. How quick you're recovering? Because yeah. I tell you what, lads, they'll play quick throw ins, they'll play quick free kicks. We have to stand in the way, okay? Even if, let the referee tell you to fuck off. Yeah. Game management, lads, you can do that. You've got to be nasty as well. Right. You have to be nasty. Minute one, get enough of being nasty. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Shoulder! Yes, 
right? Because we're playing one man up front. But they got really cheeky second half, uh, end of the first half then. They had one defender back against, uh, against Logan. When the key yeah. had it, yeah. One on one at on the back. That's the one time when you do go quick, because one on one, we go for it. These two on ones probably are good, you know? Just but, cuts. Yeah, just have so a good luck. You need to fucking go towards the ball though. I know, I know it's fucking your yeah, arm. Yeah, it's not good Just compete for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's not this half. Yeah, it's not this half. Okay, boys, you two not down. Just have a go. Yeah. yeah. Get off that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm pressing as well. If we deal with that, that we just spoke about, you're not going to lose 6 or 7 nil. I'll say that now. But you've got to deal with that. They'll then start changing what they're doing. Okay? And then we'll try and adapt to that. We trust each other. Communication is massive now. Okay? You get one goal. Game on. Yeah. You're 2 nil down. How many times have we said that this season, that you're only 2 nil down at half time? Um, well, how many times have we also said we've had a good first half? But play for player, they're not better than us. You know, there's a, there's a, they've got one lad who I think is quite nice in midfield. I think the number 11 has got a lot of movement in him. I think their number 2 has got a bit of pace and stature about him. But they're not, individually, not better than you are. Okay, yeah, last point from me. So last point from me. Hi, I'm Andy now, but...